Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn love reading. And this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. If it does not, take the parts that do not resonate as those may be meant for someone else. So I've got my Romance Angel cards. I've got my Angel Answer cards. I have my Heart-Shaped Romance cards. I have my Whispers of Love cards. And then I have my Alice in Wonderland cards, which I'll pick three of these, and then I'll, I've already shuffled, so I'll split the deck for these, and we'll see what's going on. All right, so Romance Angels. We have Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So to me, I feel like that represents enjoying time together, even if it's, you know, you're not on a honeymoon, or you're out of the honeymoon phase of a relationship, I feel like it's kind of enjoy that time together where it's those date nights, right? Where it's just, excuse me, it's just you and that person, right? Have you gotten away from that? I feel like sometimes life just gets in the way and we forget about those date nights. We forget about those times where it's just the two of you doing something fun and doing something that you enjoy and kind of forgetting about all of the stresses of adulting and daily life. And I feel like sometimes we forget those because we get so busy with things or everybody wants us or we have so much to do, we have so much on our plate and I feel like that's just something that I feel you maybe you need to focus on that, right? To set up that date night, to have that alone time, maybe set up a vacation. And sometimes it's even fun just to talk about it and say, hey, let's plan a vacation, right? Sit down and have dinner and say, you know what, let's plan a vacation. You know, where would you like to go? It might not be something that you do right away, but it could be something coming up. And it's always fun to have that thing to look forward to and to plan for and know, okay, yeah, things might be a little rough today or tomorrow or next week. I got a lot on my plate. I got a lot to do. But hey, we've got this vacation coming up where we can just relax and have time together. So for some of you, it may be that it's time to plan a little vacation or a little getaway or staycation or something like that. We have opportunity. In order to have this happen, you have to take the opportunity, right? You have to make time in your schedule. Sometimes it's like, well, I just don't have time. I have so much on my plate. But I feel like this is something important within a relationship that you need to make time for. Um, you, people make time for what they feel is important to them. And I feel this is important within a relationship is to have those date nights, to have those vacations, to have those getaways where the two of you can reconnect and take the opportunity to sit down together, right, and plan that. Even if it's you just want to plan the date night and say, okay, what's your calendar look like? What does your schedule look like? Let's see, let's find some time where the two of us can be together and we can have a date night and we can go, let's make reservations at that favorite restaurant that we have, right? And do something like that. We have transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. And I feel like that has to go with having those date nights, setting up those vacations, having that time alone together spending that time where it's just the two of you. It's fun to go out with other couples and other people, but I feel like for some reason I'm feeling it's more like that alone time where it's just you and that person. That's very important to have that alone time with the two of you where you feel like you're really focusing on each other. Because if you go with other people, then it's like, well, there's other people that are there that you're focusing on and you're not really focusing on each other. So I feel like, and maybe sitting down and saying, okay, let's do this once a month, you know, or let's make more of an effort to have these date nights or do this once a week, whatever works for the two of you. And that deepens your relationship because it strengthens that bond and that connection between, that you have between each other. We have miracles and blessing. Everything has its gift, right? 
even if you just sit down and you have that conversation, I feel like that's a gift because that's showing that other person that, hey, my partner is looking out for me. My partner wants to spend time with me. My partner wants to work on this relationship. My, my partner wants to strengthen the bonds within the relationship. So even just talking about it, getting it out in the open, discussing it and saying, hey, let's make time for that date night or that vacation, right? Because then you feel like, oh, well, that person's thinking about me. We have five of cups. What else do we have? We have justice. And we have the devil. So that can represent the Capricorn card. Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Pen Pentacles, which I feel is something new, something different. So we have, I thought this was very interesting when I first saw this card because I saw, but I, because I felt like, look at what's right in front of you. Because here she's trying to reach these three spilled cups that are on top of this table, which she can't reach. But if she looks right in front of her, the cups that are right in front of her are filled. And I feel like that may be a message is seeing what is right in front of you. What is this relationship that you have right in front of you? What are the, What is this person that you have right in front of you? Are you focusing on that person? Are you focusing on the relationship that you have with that person? Or are you always reaching for something else? Are you, are you always doing something else? Are you always striving for something else? Are you always focusing on something else? Are you you know, not seeing what's right in front of you and that you don't want to lose that connection in the relationship. We have the justice card and that can represent Libra. So that could be a relationship with a Libra, but I also feel like it's, it's up to you. Like she's pointing and she's saying, and I feel like, you know, that finger is going right towards you, that it's up to you to choose what is best for you. Um, If you feel that, I, I feel like it's looking at those actions that you're doing though too. I feel like if you're, feel, if you're feeling a lacking in your relationship, if you're feeling a disconnect in your relationship, what are those things that you can do to change that, to transform it, to bring the two of you closer together? And then we have the devil card, which represents, you know, Capricorn, but I also feel like it's kind of two people and there's all of this stuff is broken up on the table and... I just feel that there's definitely a disconnect between these two that are here at the table and is kind of that what's going on with you and your partner is that there's this disconnect is there's like you're together but yet you're you're not together that you're with this person but it's really not that close relationship that bliss that st strong relationship you know is that what you're struggling with um and sometimes it's time. I also feel like with this Eight of Pentacles, where he has this distance with the pencil, like he's, I feel like it represents distance. Stepping away and looking into your relationship and saying, okay, yeah, I'm not feeling fulfilled. I'm not feeling happy. I feel like there's a disconnect. I feel like, you know, if I really sit down and look at it, that I don't have that connection with my partner, that I'm not feeling that closeness, that I'm not feeling that connection, but... You know, why is that? Is we're not spending time together that, you know, sometimes you get so busy with work, you know, you have different hours at work, different, you know, you don't have all those times. Weekends are spent, you know, grocery shopping and cleaning house and laundry and all of those chores. And it's just like, sometimes we just get into that routine of that, that we lose that connection that we have with that person. And I just feel like that's what you need to focus on within this relationship and that, that that's what you may be struggling with and to look at, let's set up that date night. You have to make the effort in a relationship. If you feel that there's something missing or lacking, you have to look at it and see what it is and then you have to see how can I change that. And you have to, you have to do those things yourself that you, you can't always leave it to the other person. Um, that if you feel that there's a lack or a need that you step up to the plate right, that you step up to the plate, you take control of the situation, and you get things under control. 
Um, so I have the whispers of healing to close, close it out, ruminate. So what is that energy? I feel like that, what is that energy that you are putting out there, right? What is that energy that you're giving to your, to your partner? And then we have forward movement, moving forward. How do you want things to change or be different? And we have the butterflies, which I feel that that goes back to this transformation here, which is represents butterflies that are transforming and changing. They go from the caterpillar to the beautiful butterfly. And I feel like if you want this relationship to blossom, you know, is it taking the opportunity to look and see what's right in front of you instead of reaching for things that are out of reach and to have that connection and enjoying those little moments and those things that you have with your partner and kind of slowing things down even if it's like on a daily basis that you take you know some time to maybe eat dinner together or to just send that person a text message saying that you're thinking about them or you care about them or you know, slowing things down a little bit at night to have, okay, let's have 30 minutes of let's just talk about our day or let's just, you know, let's just do something where we're communicating together instead of staring at the TV or computers or phones, right? What are those things that you can do to make the effort to transform this relationship if you're feeling there's this disconnect? All right, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.